in today's video, we're going to go over groups and organizations. The biggest difference between groups and organizations is if you're needing to have a set of devices that need to have one type of policies or, or, or applications versus somewhere else. For example, you need drivers to have one type of application, but then you need to have everybody else have something different. We would use groups and organizations. The biggest thing is, is we find that it's easier and less time consuming to use organization and sub organizations. So as you see here on the screen, on the left hand side, we have organization. So we'll have the parent organization that is Simple Innovations Group. I want to point out something here that Android Legacy is no longer. So we need to modify that. So we'll checkbox the one that we want. We're going to click modify at the top. And we'll come down here to what says Android Management Type. We're going to change it from Android Legacy to Android Enterprise. And we are going to click Save. So now we are now ready to add our secondary or sub-levels of organizations or different types of departments. And what I mean by that is we're going to uncheck here. We're going to click Add. We have a department that needs to be called drivers. So we'll label it, label it drivers. Our code, just like in the other video where I said company root is for the parent Simple Innovations Group organization. Well, this one we're gonna call drivers. We leave it as Knox Manage. We do wanna make sure it goes from Android Legacy to Android Enterprise. And we're going to click Save. What this now does is it is a sub level of Simple Innovations Group, but it lets us dictate into, you know, aka groups, but they're actually going to be sub level of organization. So for drivers, we would then go to profile, create another driver's profile just for them, and make sure that we assign the multi profile to that applicant, that organization. So I'm going to click on here. We're going to click assign go to organization instead of just assigning that one policy to simple innovations group we're going to break it down and go even further and go to drivers now drivers policy has now been assigned to drivers organization and we just now have to say assign and press ok and that has been done the reason why we're saying save and apply is because we don't have any users in that group or should I say users in that organization? So if I come up here to user, and just like when we bulk add, you can have your users already pushed to that organization. You just create this organization sub organization first and use that company root. You take that out and you put in whatever you label the organization as. For this one would have been drivers. For the, our example here is we're going to say SIG05. We're going to click on it. We're going to click Modify, come down to our organization type, click Select. If there's anything in the right-hand side for the ones that we're going to be, we're going to get rid of it. And come up to Organization at the top, and this device is now going to go to Drivers, and we're going to press OK. When we press OK, we get down here where it says Organization Type. Two things I want to point out. One, it will say Follow Organization Type to saying Android Enterprise. So if our overarching one, which is simple innovations group is set up for android enterprise i still find it to be the easiest to always put android enterprise in here no matter what and then we click save once we have it saved we're going to say do you want to save the user profiles and signed applications to this group or organization will automatically be assigned to the, this user when we press ok it's going to take whatever applications that were assigned to just the Simple Innovations Group organization and not to just drivers, take those off and put just what the drivers had. So this is a way that you get to split out and make it a little easier for you to say, hey, um, everybody that's in driver needs to have Google Maps, but not everybody in the overarching Simple Innovations Group needs to have Google Maps. So this is a way to dictate between the two. Once you have that, this is where, you know, having multiple profiles in place get to do, you know, one, two organizations and then one, two um, 
the drivers organization and one to the actual simple innovations group organization so it helps you determine you know does this group need something different than that group 